Hey, it's YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back into the studio. Today we're gonna go to inspirations number two. And these inspirations, these two paintings here anyways, the first one was a uh, bald eagle study I did, and then also the um, uh, learning to glide orca. These were both inspired by a trip out west and on an orca kayaking trip. And every time I see them, I think back to this moment that was probably the most terrifying and then instantly exhilarating experience that I'd, that I'd ever have. So, as I said, we were in uh, the uh, uh, Johnstone Strait, which uh, is right between the mainland of um, Canada near Vancouver and Vancouver Island. And uh, we are right by the Robson Bight. Now, the Robson Bight is known for its rocky basin, so the orcas like to congregate there and rub on the uh, rocky bottoms. And they also, at that particular time of year, come into town because two freshwater rivers flow into the bite and the, the salmon have done spawning and they're coming back down river, so they're there for the, the big feast of salmon. Anyways, we had to take a water taxi out to where we were camping, or camping out in the, in the boondockies, close to the orcas, uh, on land, of course. Anyways, uh, while we were going out on this, this um, uh, water taxi, we read about a great white sighting in the Johnstone Strait. And my wife kind of freaked out saying, you never told me there were the great whites here. I said, well, baby, it's the Pacific Ocean. There's seals everywhere. You're gonna have orcas, you're gonna have great whites. And uh, she was not too keen about this. And I'm just, don't worry about it. You're in a big 18 foot sea kayak. Uh, you're in a two man with the, one of the guides. You'll be just fine. So she was a little apprehensive, but uh, being the two trooper she is, she stuck through it and she decided, okay, well, let's do it anyways. So I guess we were about three days into this trip. I had just photographed this beautiful bald eagle, which inspired this painting. And then I was taking a uh, photograph of a uh, great blue heron and it was right by this beautiful rocked wall, right by the, the uh, edge of the water. And it was some gorgeous shots. So anyways, my kayak was pointed in the opposite direction of where the rest of everybody was. They were kayaking this way and my kayak was pointed this way trying to get great pictures of this heron. So anyways, I just finished taking the pictures of the heron. I put my uh, camera down into the, uh, dry, uh, the dry pack and I went to turn around and I saw this massive shadow under the water going right under my kayak and heading right for my wife's kayak. Well, in my head, I'm like, oh my God, I'm about to watch my wife get, you know, nailed by a great white thinking this sea kayak is a, um, is a, a seal or, or something. So as I'm trying to turn around quickly, I didn't even have time to say one single word. That this whole, this whole situation felt like it was five minutes, but it was probably three to four seconds tops uh, in, in actual total time. Just as I started to paddle once, up came the shadow and surfaced about five feet away from my uh, wife's kayak, and it was the biggest elephant seal you'd ever seen. I never realized how huge these things are until I saw this, this elephant seal surface. So he poked his head up, took one look around at everybody, and went back under and disappeared, gone. Uh, I had no time to grab my camera back out of the wet pouch or anything, it was that fast. But I went from terror of thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna witness a shark attack to, oh my God, look at this elephant seal. And that's the kind of stuff that happens when you get out into the field, you experience nature, you're there firsthand, you get to see these things, experience them, and they become the memories that you never forget. So to this day, whenever I see either this little uh, eagle study, or I see the uh, learning to glide, the, the print quite often gets sold in the gallery, I think back to that almost shark attack that turned out to be an elephant seal sighting.